Welcome to TechLogix. In this video tutorial, we'll guide you through a detailed, step-by-step -step process to add the IE Geek 3 MP 2K CCTV camera for home indoor to your Wi-Fi network. We will also cover setting up SD card storage and configuring the camera using the IE Geek app, ensuring that your home security setup is both straightforward and effective. This process is designed to cater to everyone, from tech-savvy individuals to beginners, making it easy to secure your home. The IE Geek 3 MP 2K CCTV camera shines with its compact white design, delivering stunning 2K QHD video clarity with 8x zoom to see every detail day or night. Its advanced 360 degrees pan and tilt, 340 degrees horizontal plus 115 degrees vertical, eliminates blind spots, while smart motion tracking and PR human detection automatically follow movement, send instant phone alerts, and trigger a siren to deter intruders, perfect for monitoring kids, pets, or any room. With night vision up to 10 meters for 24-7 surveillance, two-way audio for seamless family chats or remote warnings, and easy Alexa integration for hands-free live feeds, it's incredibly user-friendly. Supports microSD cards up to 128GB for secure local storage without fees, plus the intuitive IE Geek app for live viewing, quick tweaks, remote access, and hassle-free setup with the included user guide. Integrating effortlessly with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, the IE Geek indoor Wi-Fi camera allows for hands-free operation, further streamlining your home environment. The package comes complete with everything you need, a user manual, mounting hardware, power adapter, and camera base. Watch our video as we walk you through the setup step-by-step, -step, showing just how easy it is to boost your home security with the IE Geek 3 MP 2K CCTV camera. Memory Card Installation Before installing or removing the memory card, make sure the camera is completely powered off. This step is crucial to avoid any potential damage to the camera or the microSD card. The microSD card slot is located on the bottom or side of the camera, near the base. To access it, gently rotate or tilt the camera if needed to expose the slot clearly. Carefully insert the microSD card into the slot with the gold contacts facing upward and the notched edge aligned properly, as demonstrated in the video. Push the card gently until it fits securely into place, you should feel it click or lock into position. The IE Geek 3 MP 2K CCTV camera supports microSD cards up to 128GB, providing plenty of space for your recordings, whether in continuous mode or event-triggered clips. To remove or eject the memory card, press gently on the card until it pops out slightly, then pull it out carefully. Once the card is properly inserted, power on the camera to automatically start recording if your settings are set for auto-capture. Always double-check that the microSD card is properly seated and fully inserted before powering on the device to prevent any data loss or recording errors. If you're using a 128GB card, you can store several days to weeks of footage, depending on your resolution settings, frame rate, and recording type, like motion-activated or scheduled. Regularly monitor storage levels and format the microSD card as needed for optimal performance. Proper installation and upkeep guarantee dependable video capture and smooth camera operation. Powering up the camera. To turn on the camera, first connect the included DC power adapter to the camera's power port. Plug the adapter into a stable power outlet. Once the camera is connected to power, it will automatically begin its startup process. During the startup sequence, the infrared light turns red and goes off after 50 seconds, indicating that the camera is powering on and performing self-tests. This is a normal part of the initialization and typically lasts a few minutes. As the camera completes its startup routine, you'll hear the network configuration voice prompt or a water ticking sound, meaning it is now ready for setup and operation. At this point, you can proceed with connecting it to your Wi-Fi network and configuring the settings through the Canny Cam app. Download and install the Canny Cam app. To get started with your IE Geek camera, you'll need to download and install the Canny Cam app on your smartphone or tablet. Follow these steps for a smooth installation. Locate the QR code provided in the user manual that comes with your IE Geek camera. This QR code directs you to the Canny Cam app download page. 
Use your smartphone's camera or a dedicated QR code scanning app to scan the code. Once scanned, it should redirect you to the appropriate app store. If you prefer to download the app directly, open either the Google Play Store, for Android devices, or the Apple App Store, for iOS devices. In the search bar, type Canny Cam and look for the app developed by Shenzhen Ichi Technology Co. Ltd. Tap on the app icon to open its page, and then click on the Install button. The installation process may take a few minutes, depending on your internet speed. Make sure you have a stable Wi-Fi or mobile data connection to ensure a quick download. Once you have installed the Canny Cam app, open it to begin the setup process. Upon launching, you'll be prompted to review the terms of use and privacy policy. Take a moment to read through these documents. After reviewing, simply tap the Continue option to accept the terms and proceed with setting up your IE Geek devices. Create a Canny Cam account. You can proceed by either logging in with your existing Canny Cam account or registering a new one. If you already have a Canny Cam account, simply enter your credentials to log in. If you're new to the service, click on Sign Up to register for a new account. For this example, we'll choose Create a Canny Cam account to register. Enter the email address you wish to use for registration, make sure it's a valid email, as you will need to verify it. Once you enter your email address, Click Send to receive the verification code. Enter that verification code on the sign-up page and proceed to the next step. Next, create a strong password that meets the security criteria outlined on the screen, which may include a mix of upper and lower case letters, numbers, and special characters. After entering your desired password, click Sign Up to continue. You will then be asked to agree to the Privacy and Terms Agreement, review it and click Confirm to finalize the registration process. Now, enter the email address and password you created to log into the app. After logging in, you may be prompted to grant necessary permissions for the app to function fully, such as access to camera, location, and notifications. And now you're ready to add and configure your IE Geek camera. Camera adding. To begin adding your IE Geek camera, Open the Canny Cam app on your smartphone. On the main screen, select the device type you want to add, usually labeled as plus icon or add device. Before proceeding, ensure that Bluetooth and location services are enabled on your device, as these are necessary for the app to detect and connect to the camera quickly. Camera reset. Before adding your camera device, make sure it is in network connection mode. If the camera is not in this mode, you may need to reboot or reset it. To do this, locate the reset button on the camera and press it for about 5 to 10 seconds. Once the reset is successful, the camera will enter network connection mode, and the water ticking sound confirms that the camera is ready to be added to the Canny Cam app, ensuring a smooth setup process. Note, when configuring the Wi-Fi for your camera, it's essential to keep it near your internet modem or router. This proximity helps establish a strong and stable connection during the setup process within the Canny Cam app. Once the Wi-Fi is successfully configured and the camera is connected, you can then move it to your desired location for monitoring. Camera adding. Click the Add Device or Plus sign on the main screen of the Canny Cam app to begin adding and configuring the Wi Fi for your IE Geek camera. This opens the device selection interface, where the app prepares to pair your camera with your home network. Make sure your camera is powered on and within 1 to 2 meters of your phone for the best signal during this initial pairing phase. The app will immediately prompt you to allow access to your phone's camera. This permission is essential because the Canny Cam app uses your phone's camera to scan the QR code located on the body of your IE Geek device. This QR code contains unique identification and security information that's vital for establishing a secure, encrypted connection between your camera and the app. Tap Allow to activate the scanning feature, without this, you won't be able to proceed. Locate the QR code on your camera body. It's typically printed on a white sticker near the base or bottom of the device. Hold your smartphone steady, about 15 to 25 centimeters away, and position it so the app scanner frame fully captures the QR code clearly, avoid glare or shadows. 
the app will automatically detect, scan, and process it within seconds. Once successful, you'll see a confirmation message, and the app will guide you directly to the Wi-Fi connection setup screen. Demo note, in this video demo, the app couldn't recognize the QR code due to poor lighting or angle issues, so we selected the No QR Code Found option at the bottom of the screen. This unlocks an alternative manual method. A new field appears asking you to enter device ID. Look for the 8 to 12 digit alphanumeric ID printed right next to the QR code on the same sticker. Type it exactly as shown, case sensitive, then click Next. This bypasses scanning entirely. After entering the device ID, the app takes you to the Wi Fi selection screen. Important note, your phone must already be connected to the same 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network, the IE Geek camera supports only 2.4 GHz, not 5 GHz. From the list, tap your home network name, enter the exact password, double-check for typos, and click Next. Keep the camera close to your router, within 2 meters, during this step for a strong signal, the app will show a progress bar as it attempts the connection. Tap Next in the app to generate a dynamic QR code on your phone screen specifically coded with your Wi-Fi details. Now, reverse the process, hold your smartphone screen 10 to 20 centimeters directly in front of the camera's lens, face it straight on, good lighting. The camera's built-in scanner will read this QR code in 5 to 15 seconds and announce clearly, connecting to the Wi-Fi network, indicating it's receiving your network credentials. Demo Note Unfortunately, in our demo, the camera still didn't recognize the QR code due to distance or interference, so we chose the device reset option prompted by the app. Follow the on-screen instructions, use a pin to press and hold the reset button on the camera's base for exactly 5 to 10 seconds. Listen carefully, you'll hear the distinctive water ticking sound, confirming it's now in network configuration mode. Immediately click Next in the app, which regenerates the Wi-Fi QR code. Reset successfully. Repeat the previous step, hold the phone 10 to 20 centimeters from the lens. Upon success, the camera announces, connecting to the Wi-Fi network, and after 20 to 40 seconds, it confirms with, configure successfully. Simultaneously, the app displays a green checkmark notifying you that the camera has been added. Click Next to reach the naming screen, enter a descriptive name like Living Room Cam or Baby Monitor based on its location. This makes it easy to identify among multiple cameras. Tap Complete to finish and access the live feed. Camera Setup Completion After the Wi Fi connection is confirmed, the CaniCam app will prompt you to complete the new device setup by creating a dedicated camera password. This password acts as an extra layer of security specifically for your IE Geek camera, separate from your app login, it's required for direct access or sharing the device. Tap the password field and enter your desired 8 to 12 character password, mix letters, numbers, and symbols for strength, then re-enter it exactly the same in the confirmation field below to verify. Double check for typos, as mismatches will require you to start over, this ensures no errors during the finalization. Once both password fields match, tap Confirm or Complete Setup. The app will process this in seconds, encrypting the password to your camera and locking in the Wi Fi configuration. You'll see a progress spinner, followed by a green success message saying, Camera password set successfully. 
This step officially completes the Wi-Fi pairing, making your IE Geek camera fully authenticated and ready for secure remote access from anywhere. To access the live stream for the first time, return to the Canny Cam app home screen and tap the camera icon next to your newly named device, like Living Room Cam. The feed will load in 3 to 5 seconds, showing real-time 2K video. On this initial visit, a pop-up screen may automatically appear asking you to configure the storage option, this is the app detecting your inserted microSD card and preparing it for recordings. If the storage prompt doesn't appear automatically, due to app version or card detection, don't worry, manually check it by tapping the camera settings gear icon, then select SD card or storage from the menu. Here, you'll see the card status, e.g., uninitialized, and an initialize or format button. Tap it to bring up the formatting screen, ensuring your card is fully ready for saving motion clips or continuous footage without errors. Select the, the Format option on the SD card screen to erase and prepare the micro SD card you inserted earlier. This essential step formats it in the camera's specific file system, FAT32 slash XFAT, optimizing it for 2K video recordings up to 128GB capacity. A warning will note that all existing data will be erased, tap Yes or Format Now to proceed. The process takes 10 to 30 seconds, you'll hear a confirmation beep, and the status changes to ready with available space displayed, e.g., 120 gigabytes free. Once formatting completes, your camera is fully operational. Tap back to the live feed to test PTZ, pan, tilt, zoom, controls, use the on-screen joystick to pan 340 degrees horizontally, tilt 115 degrees vertically, or pinch zoom up to 8x for crystal clear details. With Wi-Fi and storage configured, you can now mount the camera on a shelf, wall, or ceiling using the included hardware, secure it firmly for optimal coverage of kids, pets, or entryways. After mounting in your designated location, the camera offers full functionality, seamless live streaming, event playback from the SD card timeline, and smart PTZ tracking. Access everything remotely via mobile data or Wi-Fi from anywhere in the world, just open the app and tap your device. Test the two-way audio by speaking into your phone mic, you'll hear it through the camera speaker, perfect for chatting with family or sounding the siren alert. To finalize everything, tap the settings icon, gear, on your camera's main page in the app. Scroll to device info and select it to set the correct date and time zone for your location, this ensures accurate timestamps on recordings. Next. Visit Recording Settings to customize preferences like Motion Detection Sensitivity or Storage Overwrite. For deeper guides on alerts, two-way audio, power human detection, and more, check our dedicated videos in this Tech Logic series, everything you need for pro-level home security. If you need further clarification, additional segments in this series provide in-depth explanations of these features. If you found this video helpful, please support us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us create more content and provide valuable resources. Thank you for your support.